In the last video, we made the teeth and gums from scratch. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. In this one, we're gonna paint it and create a nice realistic shader for it without using any downloaded maps, all in Blender. As always, I'll be uploading the 3D files and real-time videos on my Gumroad and Patreon page. That also supports the channel and help me continue making these videos. Link in the description. Let's go. Okay, first thing, we're gonna take care of the gums. Make sure you have UV unwrapped the gums and teeth before proceeding into this tutorial. I explained all about the UV unwrapping in the previous video. Select the gums and the material properties, click on new and name it gums. Select the bottom one and assign the same material to this one as well. Then select the teeth, assign a new material and name it teeth. Again, do the same thing to the bottom one. Go to shading tab, shift a not image texture, click on new, put a high resolution if you want. Color doesn't matter for now. I forgot to do it, but you name it gums. Then connect the color to the base color. You can do it in the texture paint tab, but I'm gonna do it in layout. Hover your mouse to the left corner of your screen and drag out the new window. Then click on this and put it on image editor. Now find a good gums image. Doesn't matter what it looks like, just find something like this that has a good lighting and decent colors on the gums and teeth. Back in Blender, click on image. Then open the image you just downloaded, hold Z and go to material preview. If you're using Multires, turn down the level number to avoid any lags while painting. Pick up the fill brush so we can fill it with the base color. Now hover your mouse on the color on top and press E. Now you can click anywhere on the screen and it picks up the color. I'm gonna click on somewhere right here and then one click on the gums and it fill out the whole mesh. If you think it needs to be darker, you can press E again on the color picker and pick up a darker color this time. Now it's time to paint. Again, I'm gonna press E to pick up a new color. Then pick up a lighter color than before. Lower the strength so it wouldn't be so intense. Then start painting the bulge areas, the parts that are pushed out by the tooth. As you can see in the image, more exposed areas are the parts with the less color. So try to cover all those areas. Now press E again on the color and choose a darker color this time and start painting the outer parts of the teeth with medium sized brush. Then you can lower down the size of the brush and paint the other parts. You can also look up to your reference image for more information. Target is to have random redness spreads all over the gums. Now click on this one on top and switch to the gums image we just painted. You should have some weird looking thing like this. Then go to image, save as and save it somewhere so you don't lose your progress. Then switch to shader editor or go to shading tab to see the material. Make sure you have decent lighting in your scene. If you're using Eevee, do not use HDRI maps cause they don't cast shadows. Just normal lights in the front and maybe two in the back for more contrast. Put red on the subsurface color, then increase the subsurface amount until it looks like blood is flowing inside. Now select the teeth this time. We've already assigned the material. So just shift A and add image texture. Click on new. Name it teeth. Choose a white color and click on OK. Connect it to the base color. Switch back to image editor. Choose teeth. Go to image and save it for later. Then go back to the teeth reference so we can begin to paint. Go to texture paint mode. Decrease the multi-res number again. Choose a pale yellow reddish color. With a low strength number and a big brush, start painting the teeth. Remember to add just the hint. Most people have a bit of yellow in their teeth. It's natural, but varies in different people. So if you want yours to have perfect white, don't do it or put just a little bit. If you want to paint the bottom teeth, just hover your mouse on the teeth and press Alt Q to switch between the meshes. Now you can draw on this one, but do not forget to decrease the multi-res to avoid the lags. Go back to the object mode, select both top and bottom teeth, then press shift edge to hide everything else. Now go to the back of the teeth and start doing the same to the back, just hint of the color all over the teeth. Once done, put the same color on the starting point of the tooth, but more pronounced and with more strength so it would be visible. 
switch to the teeth texture as we just painted. While your mouse is on the texture, press Alt S to save it on the previous one. Switch to the shader editor, increase the specular, decrease the roughness since it's quite shiny. Back to texture paint mode, start putting the colors on where the teeth comes out of the gums. This helps them to not look out of place. Once done, I select a pale and darker color than this, I scale down the brush and I start painting the edges of the teeth. Again, while your mask is on the texture, press Alt S to save the texture. We still have to work on the gums, cause they are not realistic enough. Select the gums and go to texture paint mode. Choose a dark red color and start painting the edges of the gums where the tooth comes out. scale up the size of the brush and put some of the dark red color around the gums to make a nice contrast between the dark and bright spots. If anything is good enough, switch to the object mode and select the teeth again. Shift edge and this time increase the multi res a bit cause we're gonna work on the details. Go to texture paint tab and start painting the roots on the tooth. This helps that we have more pronounced roots in the render. You can always choose a white color and paint out those yellow areas where you think you went too far. When you get the base done, choose a dark red color, decrease the size of the brush and increase the multi res and really get into the details of the roots. Don't forget to save the texture after a while. Switch to render view so you can see the results. If you think it still needs more, just add some. Press Alt H to unhide other meshes. While the teeth are selected, in the shading, increase the subsurface just a bit. Don't add too much, cause it will look like gelatin. Just mess around with the number until it looks decent. We gotta make the gums shader better, so select the gums, mess around with the specular and decrease the roughness, cause gums are pretty wet as you know. The surface of the gums are not clean and smooth, so we need to add something to make it a bit more rough. Shift A and add a noise texture. If you have the node wrangle add-on enabled, just select the noise texture and press Ctrl T. For the mapping, hold Shift Ctrl and click on the noise texture. You see it's stretched and overall it doesn't look good. First increase the scale and also increase the excess scale on the mapping so it doesn't look stretched. Yours might be different. So mess around with the scale number so it wouldn't be stretched. Decrease the roughness and maybe more scale until it looks like this. Hold Ctrl Shift and click on the principal shader. Shift A and add displacement. Connect the noise texture to the height and connect this one to the displacement. It's way too intense, so decrease the scale to something really really low until you got similar results. Now you see it's way better. Move the lights around to see how the teeth and gums react to the light. I rotate the teeth to see how it looks when the mouth is open. Teeth are still too white in mine, so I add a bright contrast node, drop it between the image and base color, then decrease the brightness just a bit. It also needs more of that yellow color for the edges, so I get back to the texture paint tab and start putting more of that color on the edges of the tooth. The gums also needs improvements, this is really important. For the final adjustments, while the gums are selected in the shader editor, shift A and add a mix RGB and drop it between the gums image and base color. Then connect the noise texture to the color too, change it to multiply, so only dark spots remain. Now we got these nice little details on the gums, you can change the intensity of these dark spots by changing the factor number. Now select the noise texture alongside with mapping and coordinates. Shift A to duplicate, add another mix RGB and drop it before the base color. Then connect the noise texture to the color too. Now I can change the scale of the noises. Decrease the scale to make them bigger. I think 35 is good but you can change it based on yours. Then increase the roughness cause we don't want it to be crisp on the edges. Again put it on multiply and change the intensity by playing with the factor. If you're gonna render it with cycles make sure you turn down the subsurface on both teeth and gums cause subsurface is way more intense in cycles. And this is our final shader. If you find this video helpful, like and sub would be great. Again, you can find the 3D files and real-time videos on my Gumroad and Patreon page. See you guys on the next one. Peace!